Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro Batch Geoprocessing Tools. Let's get started. I have multiple parameters for Harris County, utilizing some census data and some scores that my associate has calculated. I'd like to run the Dissolve tool so that I could find the average by tract. But you'll notice that I have multiple parameters, so I'd like to do this multiple times. Well, there's a quicker way to do it than running the tool individually, one by one, and that's using batch. So how do we get there? Well, we navigate to the geoprocessing tool we wish to run in batch, and we simply right-click. If this option is not available for your geoprocessing tool, then it's not supported. When you're brought up to the batch window pane, you'll notice that I can choose the parameters input features. I can also decide if this is going to be temporary for just this instance, or if I want to save the tool. And if I go ahead and save the tool, I can give it a location in a toolbox. I've already saved this tool once, so let's run through the temporary batch. I'll select Next. And then from here, I'm going to select the group of features I wish to include. Once I've chosen my features, you'll notice that there's an output feature class name, but it includes a wildcard for name. These percents indicate that this is the wildcard. Ahead of the wildcard, you could give the output feature class a standard name, and then the name here is going to be the name of the feature that's input. In addition, I can choose which fields I'll be dissolving on. Since I know they all share tract, I'll be dissolving on the tract level. I also know they all contain a score. So I'd be utilizing the average or the mean of this score. And then simply select Run. The tool has already added the layers to my contents pane, and I've opened up the attribute table so that you can see that the mean scores have been calculated for all three of my attributes, for all three of my feature classes. As I mentioned earlier, I had saved the batch dissolve tool. It saved it as a model, and if you right click edit, you can view its contents. So you may be wondering why would you save this tool if you could just simply rerun it from the geoprocessing? Well, in a model such as this, I can easily add additional tools so that if I have a bit of a workflow I'd like to repeat, I can utilize this new model. Let's say I wanted to add a field and then calculate and perhaps output it then to a shapefile. Well, I can do that by simply dragging in those tools and connecting them here to the output values. In addition to creating a model from the tool, you can also utilize a model you already have. In this model, I have some census data feeding into a dissolve on the scores, and then I'm going to export it to a shapefile for sharing. Now, if I'd like to set this up so that I can simply right-click this model and run it in batch, I'll have to set some parameters. Since I'd like to keep the dissolve field as score, I've only set the parameter as the input feature class. And if we double-click here, I've added the percent name to the output feature class as a wildcard. I've also made a parameter out of the workspace so that I can choose where it will be outputting. In addition to the output location, I've also added the wildcard for name for the shapefile so that when it outputs the shape, it will also put the name on the end of it so that I know that this is the dissolve shape of the particular feature class. From there, I can export or share as needed. To run this model in batch, rather than double click, I would right click and select batch. Since this was created off of a parameter of a pre existing feature class, that's going to appear in the drop down. I'm going to select my feature class and select next. From there, I can choose my workspace as well as more than one feature class at a time. Select run. And you can see here that my two shapefiles have been exported to a location. So let's recap. I can navigate to a geoprocessing tool and right click to run it in batch. I can then save it as a model if I choose to add to it later, or in some cases I can use a pre-existing model if I set my parameters correctly. I think this is a great stopping point. If you're interested in learning about other geoprocessing tools or even iterators and models, check out our other playlist. This has been Teslabytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.